What's up guys, welcome back to the channel today. More GX stuff. Uh, we actually got a transmission cooler that I had for a while, but the problem was I didn't have a mount for it. And uh, I actually bought this mount from, what's it called, Koon, Kion? From Australia, but this is actually for a FJ Cruiser. So um, I read online that it might fit, that, that it does fit, but you know, don't really know until I try it out myself. So just in case it does, here is the part number. Here is the actual part right here. It looks very good. And it's gonna replace this one right here. So first things first, uh, we're gonna take off all these clips right here. And I mean, mine's only hold on by one, two, two, three, one, two, three, three clips. And it looks like there's enough room to work in there, so let's just take that off. So this is the trans cooler that I'm using. It is a Hayden 678 right there. All right, so the cover is off. Here's the transmission cooler right there. Here are the hoses, and it looks pretty straightforward. So first things first, I'm gonna remove these horns because they will be in the way and we're gonna attach it later. Then we got this 10, looks like a 10 holding in the cooler and then two more tins at the bottom and then one more right here that we can take off from right there. Looks like we gotta take off that mount maybe, maybe not, we'll see. So let's take everything out for now. This will get messy, so make sure you put some cardboard underneath there because once you take off those lines, it's gonna start dripping right away. But um, we're gonna try to take out the lines um, as like latest as possible. We're gonna take out the mounts, move this out of the way try to fit the cooler so that way when we take out the lines we can just take it out and put it in right away so it actually looks like it does line up pretty good pretty surprised so we're going to take that bolt off and that one off all right so the instructions are not that helpful because they're for an fj so what you're going to do is just kind of mount it on here right now and then we're going to put it on the car uh, on the instructions for the fj you gotta take out a bunch of shit so Looks like we have plenty of room to work with. Makes our lives easier. So let's uh, get this loosely mounted, put it aside for now. And let's get this cooler out of the way. It looks like there's a few more bolts holding it in. One right here, one right here. Let's get those out. All right, I got the cooler loose. You can see how to loosen this too. So that way I can get this cooler out. There we go. So now that is out of the way, we're just gonna leave it like that for now until we mount the new radiator or cooler in. So try to get things out of the way, not to break anything. There we go. And now you have room to mount this. So a few things that we gotta keep doing. So there's this bolt right here that we gotta take out. This is the the other trans mount or cooler mount that we gotta take out. It looks like there's some modification that we gotta do. Nothing major. So, you see that stud right there? That is hitting right there. And so you can either, you know, not mount it and have this like push back and just leave it like that. Or you can cut a hole in here, which that's something I'm going to do. All right, so I had to drill a hole right there um, just to get that bolt through. So that way we have another mounting point, um, just like that. And now everything lines up pretty good. And yeah, let's put the core support on here. The bottom one doesn't actually line up either, but I think I know a way to make it, you know, uh, the way I mount it on there. So let's get this top portion on and then we'll tighten the bottom. I got everything perfectly lined up so you can see all the holes line up. You have to put it to the second hole from the bottom right here. And same with the bottom right there. You can see I put it on the second hole, not the bottom hole, the one right here. And that way all the holes line up. You can see in the grill that it lines up right there as well. So let's put all the bolts back in. All right, so everything is tied down now, pretty firm. I just got tied this last bolt. I couldn't find my 12. Um, I had to disconnect the horns because they go right here. So what you gotta do with those is you have to mount them somewhere else. Um, 
So I'm gonna extend the wires and mount them, uh, but you can you know decide where you want to do that. But for now, you know the radiator is mounted. I might put one horn right here because I have a spot to put right here. But um, yeah, next part is just to put the hose on here. So I'll put the top one right there, bottom one down there. Should you don't need to extend anything, so it should just work. It's gonna get messy. Uh, I'm making a mess of the car. There you have it. Top one there, bottom one there. Now I'll just put the clips in, ready to go. All right, so I bent a bracket with like some normal pliers like that to kind of this L shape. So that way I can actually mount it just like that and it's sitting far away from the cooler. So yeah, that worked pretty good. All right, so pretty much everything's all done. Last thing you gotta do is start your car, get some fluid pumping through there and yeah uh it's pretty pretty easy one slight modification which is to drill a hole here um but wasn't too hard so if you're comfortable with drilling a hole the metal's not too thick so super easy and then bending these brackets to get the horns mounted and then making sure that you have that's where you mount the radiator to the bracket and then the bottom let's see if you can have a good look in there come back in here that's where you bolt it into. So uh, let's start the car and see if there's any leaks because uh, you don't want any leaks. So let's go. Car is on. Don't see any visible leaks right now, which is probably pretty good. Yeah, it's getting fluid through all of those little tiny little cooling things that help cool it down. All right, so a few final things that you need to do is because you know this is in a new spot um, you want to make sure you have to cut some things out of the way so I had to cut um, some of the plastic here to clear this um, the hood still fits so that's fine and then right here um, you don't have to really you don't have to really cut this right here but I would zip this uh, <laughs> I would zip tie this to somewhere so that way it doesn't vibrate on everything but yeah that's uh that's it that's all you got to do if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.